What's up, guys? I'm Steve, and welcome to Monday Madness, where we will be tackling the Disney 18 question tag that has been going around. Um, let me mute myself. Okay. Um, so I want to start by thanking Dean with The Live Place. Please visit him. Uh, he's on Dreamers Empire on YouTube as well as The Live Place. And so is uh, he's at www.theliveplace.com. I want to thank my partner channel, uh, Mouse Talk, and he has just come into the chat. So I want to thank them, Mouse Talk. They go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock, and we do a sports night together at uh, 8 o'clock on Saturdays. And I also want to announce that we have another uh, new partner channel, uh, and that is Rob Fuzz, who is also here tonight. So Rob Fuzz and I will uh, have now become partner channels as well. So all the descriptions are in the link below, guys. Please go visit those people. Uh, let's see who we have in chat. We have Samantha Lowe. Hey, Samantha, how are you? Uh, Meg from Mickey's Magic, who is off tonight. Myra, thank you so much for being here. Miguel Benitez Jr., the Shep family, LSU mom, Zippity Doodad. How are you, buddy? Of course, my partner channel, Mouse Talk. Disney Life for me, my other partner channel now, Rob Fuzz. Again, if you missed that announcement, Rob Fuzz and I are now partner channels as well. My Disney Park Memories, hello, thank you for being here. Killdeer, thank you so much, buddy, for being for stopping by. Uh, who else we got here? Alyssa Steinberg, thank you so much. Janine, how are you? Dougie! Dougie, it is late where you are at, buddy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And uh, who? I, my, my chat just jumped. AJC Magic, thanks so much, buddy, for being here, for guys, for being here. Um, R. Johns, the legend, has made it in. Thank you so much, R. Johns. Guys, if you haven't yet, please go subscribe to R. Johns. We're trying to get him to 1,000 subs uh, so that he can do a live stream. Um, but please, he's he's don't, don't look for any videos. You're not going to miss it. He's not there yet, but we're trying to get him to 1,000, so we will. Um, who else we got? Chris with Disney World Adventures. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for sending everybody over here. I greatly appreciate it. Shep, thanks, buddy. Thanks for being here. Um, did I get everybody. Oh, it's jumping again. Jim, Jim's world. How are you? Joseph Andrews. Thank you. Thank you for being here, buddy. You, me and Benny. Thank you for so much for stopping by Jim with more sunshine, please. Disney junkie, Ashley. Hello. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, there's a lot of you guys in here. Thank you so much guys. Um, so what we were going to do, I think I got everybody. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Just comment again and I'll catch you as I see you. Um, we were going to talk about, the uh, we, we got a couple things I wanted to talk about. Number one, I was going to talk about Star Wars because it's the end of the Star Wars week, Star Wars weekend. We're not going to do that. <clears throat> it's been done, and I've been on so many other streams where I've talked about Star Wars that I got tired of it. So um, we're going to, and then we were also going to do Impossible Disney Trivia, which I am not ready for. So we had to come up with something different. Hey, Donna, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. So what we decided to do, I have been tagged by Disney Dan, for this 18 Disney 18 question tag that's been going around. And I, I just cannot find time to get it videotaped and recorded. So I thought, let's just do it together. So we're going to all talk about it. Uh, like for you guys to participate, join in on the chat. Let me know what your answers would be. Um, I've got three or four answers for every single one of them, but then I'll narrow it down to one. Hey, Perfectly Cat, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. So, Again, guys, thank you all for being here. I greatly appreciate it. If you would, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps us out greatly. Um, do want to announce that we <clears throat> and we hit 750 subscribers today. So just right before I came in here, thank you all. Thank you, Chris. I know Chris was my 750th subscriber. Um, so, guys, thank you so much. Marianne, Hamoza, thank you so much for being here. Um, so, guys, I, I can't be appreciative enough. We just had our – on Friday, we just had our – 500 subscriber giveaway, which Noah, the Disney World fan, 16 won. So uh, congratulations to Noah. And he will, uh, we, we went out 750 just three weeks later. So thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. All right. So we're going to dive right into this. Cargo, how are you, Cargo? And LSU mom, thank you so much for being here. Yes, we hit 750. So thank you guys so much. Um, I, I, I'm humbled by everything that everybody does for me. And I, I just cannot, you know, we, we just want to promote a place of happiness and fun and positivity for everybody. Hopefully that is coming across and we uh, we got a lot of good stuff planned for you guys. So I, I, I thank you for continued support and um, we'll just see where we can get to. So, and I think I just saw who did I just see come in. D Hazel, I think if I haven't said hi to you, D, hello. 
So, okay, guys. So the first question up is, and please type your answers in the chat, whatever you guys think. Which Disney movie or scene would you like to be in? And I don't have anything really fancy today. I usually would have a, you know, a PowerPoint, whatever. I just got them on a piece of paper. So we're just going to talk about them. So which Disney movie or scene would you like to be in? And I, I thought of a few of these. I, I mean, there's a lot of different um, different movies that are, I have several favorites that, you know, I can't, I couldn't really decide between. So, hey, Pepper Tree Villa, thanks for being here, guys. So what I did with was, <laughs> perfectly cat mentioned one of them, the Tangled Lantern, the B Tangled Lantern lights with on the boat. That would be a scene that I would be uh, very happy to be involved in. Hey, Painting the Roses Red, thank you so much for being here. Um, that That's an incredible scene. And then the one that I actually went with, though, <clears throat> was I want to take Rafiki, remove him, and let me hold up Simba as I sing the, uh, what's it, Masapanya para Michi Mubo, something like that, whatever it is. I'll learn the words if I get in the movie, but that would be my favorite part to be in would be to welcome the new prince into the world at the as the circle of life plays on pride rap on pride rock as i get to hold up simba and let the kingdom see the new future king so um she's where we are trying to get arjuns to 700 yes absolutely i've, I've already said please post uh, we're trying to get arjuns to a thousand by all means please post arjuns uh information 100 so all right. So, yes. So I don't know what you guys, I saw the lantern scene was in there. Um, some, I don't know if, how many others were, but there, there's some really tough questions, guys. I had to write that. Like, like I said, I've got six and seven answers for some of these. I just couldn't narrow them down. It was hard. <clears throat> so um, let's see what else we got. Oops. The, it just jumped. So if I missed anything, guys, apologize. I'd like to be there when Gaston stabs the beast so I could help him killing lousy beast. <laughs> oh, Dougie. <laughs> I, I do like Gaston. He's one of my favorite villains, but <clears throat> the beast had to had to survive. Um, yes, Arjons is the best. Cannot wait to meet Arjons. He's just he, he, I, I from what I hear stories of Arjons, from what I see of Arjons through Resort TV one, um, Arjons just seems to be an incredible person all around. Cannot wait to meet Arjons. Okay, so number two, Bambi. I would stop the hunter from shooting. Very good, LSU mom. I never actually thought about stepping into a scene to prevent something else from happening. That's a that's an incredible twist on that. That's a great great idea. Okay, so number two, what is your best moment in a Disney park? <clears throat> and realistically, I mean, if I'm there, it's really any moment in a Disney park. Um, I've not had a bad, even, even when you're having a bad day or if you're having some issues, if you can't have fun in Disney, it's not worth going because Disney world just makes you feel happy. So, but my favorite, my favorite uh, part in the, t in the parks was the very first time I took my family with me. Um, and this is typical. I know a lot of people say this and a lot of people have heard this, but I took my niece and my parents with me for the first time. They'd never been. I had been a few times. We went, we walked down under the train station. They were baffled by the train station. I took them five minutes just to get me, me for me to get them past that point because they were in such awe. But I kind of hid them off to the side <clears throat> as we rolled around uh, towards the town hall in, in Magic Kingdom. And then we got to the main street and I had them look the, towards the train station. Then I turned them around towards the castle. And uh, the look on their faces was was just priceless. And that's I used to go for the thrill of the rides and things, but now I go for the magical moments that you can create. So, for me, the my my favorite part is when I got to got to show my family the castle for the first time. So, um, like I remember Miguel, like I said, I I took it. It just says, "What is your best moment in a Disney park?" I, I put a spin on it the way I interpreted it was what was my favorite memory. That was also my favorite moment. So, um, yeah, smelling Main Street is good. Disney Junkie Ashley. Sorry, guys, I'm going back to try to catch up on your comments. Um, I can't wait until our Slinky Dog vlog comes out. Slinky Dog is awesome. 
Uh, let's see here. At night, after a wonderful day riding the people mover, watching the people and the lights. Nice. Uh, we're going to try to change my opinion. Mouse Talk is, is going to try to change my opinion of the people mover this August. Hey, part of Rose's World and Disney Nerd Herders, Charlie and Stacey, how are you guys? Thank you so much for being here. All right. Thank you, Jem Jem. Uh, laugh out loud. It's kind of funny saying hi again. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we all jump from stream to stream, and, and seeing the same people is awesome, but I still say hi to every one of you when I see you. Everybody whack that like button. Thank you, Cargo. Okay, guys, moving on to number three. Number three, what non-Disney song reminds you of Disney? <clears throat> so there are a lot of songs that reminded me of Disney. Uh, you, can, you can definitely spin a lot of different songs that, that – makes sense and you can also just anything that makes you really think of disney so a few of mine were uh do you believe in magic i mean that's that's a classic classic one that will send you right to disney uh oops yeah i know cat people mover okay so when i was younger i went for the people mover i rode the people mover and i was there for thrills i, I i've changed that since i haven't been on people mover in probably 15 years um what, like one of my first trips and we're going to change that in August, hopefully. My little girl cried after meeting Peter Pan. He then walked through Fantasy Lane with her, gave her his hat, then led us straight onto his ride. Oh, that is so awesome, D. That is incredible. Okay. So, do you believe in magic was one? Walking on sunshine just made me makes me feel happy. Um, for, for memories, a moment like this, but the one song that really, really sticks out for me that I would have to, yeah, I know, no TTA 15 years, Jim. It's, it is correct. It's not a misstatement. Um, it's just not something I, I, I didn't get it. But back then I was into thrill rides. I'm going to change that perspective and I'm, I'm going to give it a chance in August. The one song, though, that reminds me the most about Disney that's a non-Disney song is by M Michael Buble and it's Home. So... Disney makes me feel like home. It makes me feel like I, I'm there. That's where I belong. Um, so that is where I feel like um, I, I belong the best. So Michael Buble and Home would be my uh, my my favorite song. Number four, when was your first trip to Disney? My first trip to Disney. This is an easy one. There's not a lot of answers to this. You can just I will. I, you know, it's whenever you went first. My first trip to Disney was December of 1999, right during the Millennium Celebration. Um, I still remember we took uh, pictures of the, they had the 2000 sign across the Epcot ball, and we used to take pictures with it on top of our heads. And then, hi, Jelly, how are you? And then um, the best part about it was, was I called my mom. On New Year's Eve, I was I was in, in Epcot on New Year's Eve in 1999, and told her, and I remember this quite vividly, told her that I loved her and that if anything happened from Y2K, know that I was safe and that I loved her and my family. So <laughs> I don't know why that was my first Disney trip. The memory that sticks in my head, um, I just remember the the circus around Y2K. So that's kind of what my what my trip was. So. Yes, if the world had ended, <laughs> as, as a lot of people had thought. So, night, Jim. Jim, thank you so much. Oh, wow, you're in London. Thank you so much for being here. I know it's late there. Okay, what if everything stopped working? Yes, and I pulled all my money out of the bank and stuck it in the Disney safe just in case. Um, go, got to see the pink cake. Uh, I never got to see the pink cake castle. That's awesome. Dougie, you have yourself a great night, buddy. Um, yes, definitely do these questions. But uh, get some sleep, man. I know it's late where you're at. Thank you for being here. Okay. So this is good night to Dougie for the first time, just in case. Hey, Kay, how are you? And Lorena Zapata, or Zapata, I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I butcher your name. Um, but I think it's Lorena Zapata. Thank you very much for being here. Okay, number five. Which Disney, these, are the, these next two are the worst questions. They're the hardest questions to think of. Hey, Blended Whiskey, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, these are the two hardest questions on the entire list for me are these next two questions. Hey, PC, PCS girls, thank you for being here. Um, which Disney character would be your best friend? So <laughs> which Disney character would be your best friend? Um, I went off the 
off top, I put three down, but I'm, I'm going to narrow it down to one. I put Kermit the Frog, but he's kind of – he's just somebody that I would enjoy the company of. So I put, I put Kermit down. Perfectly Cat says Anna. That's a good one. Um, Robin Hood. I put down Robin Hood. I think he'd be my best friend as well. I just believe in the, what he stands for, and it's kind of, you know, who can go camping in Sherwood Forest and just enjoy enjoy this, this, the uh, sights. Pluto for Chris, Disney World Adventures. That's nice. And yeah, these are tough questions. But the one person I picked uh, above them all is Hero from Big Hero 6. I just think that he would be uh, – he. I would look to him as a little brother – kind of like Tadashi was to him or like he was to Tadashi, but I look at him as a little brother and I just think that he would, uh, he would be my best friend. So, and Disney junkie Ashley says Vanellope, that would be a, that would be a fun, fun best friend. Robin hood, brave. You like bow and arrows. <laughs> so, okay. Olaf would have been a good one too, Rosa. That would have been, he would, he's a, everybody's friend. Tiana so she can, cause she can cook and I like food. Ariel, because I mean, why not? Exactly. Uh, Meg, that one's, that one's coming up, Meg. So let's just jump right into that because the next question is which Disney sidekick best fits your personality. So I, I, I was struggling with this one really bad. So I wound up just asking people, zippity doo dad, did we just become friends, Steve? Yeah. Yes. We did become just, we just did become best friends. That is, uh, that is also from, is that from Step Brothers? Cause that is an incredible movie. I think it is. So Awesome. R. John's hit seven or yes, R. John's hit 700. Congratulations to R. John's uh, guys. It's still, if you haven't submitted or uh, subscribed to R. John's, please go do so. Um, he's, he's an incredible guy and uh, we want to get him to a thousand so that we can uh, get him to live stream. So congratulations, R. John's. So I thought the sidekick that would be best, like my personality was, would be happy from the Snow White and Seven Dwarfs just because I try to promote happiness and and be happy myself. Uh, Great John John's, it's awesome. V been downgraded. Mm, what's been downgraded? Cargo. I'm sorry, I must have missed something. Uh, mix of Mushu and Olaf. Yes, Step Brothers. Yes, that is an awesome one. Why does YouTube split my words? <laughs> so, okay, so uh, the other one I liked was Pascal which I think would be a really cool, I, I, he's, he's kind of like, he's, which doesn't fit my personality is silent, but, but he fits, uh, he, he's a protector. That's why I kind of like him. My family told me I would be most like Sebastian, um, which kind of, I didn't take it at first, but I guess kind of fits. Uh, I, I am a rule follower. I don't like to break the rules at all. Sorry, not that much fun. Hey, Kieran, how are you doing? Thank you so much for being here. And uh, so Sebastian, I don't know. I I could always see like like I'm my boss's right-hand man. I've always been my boss's right-hand man everywhere I work. I think Sebastian's kind of King Triton's right-hand man. So I could kind of see how it fits. But the one person I pick for me, for myself, is Baymax, as Meg, Meg said earlier. Uh, Baymax is, if, if I've, I've said this before, my favorite book is Catcher in the Rye. Next to the Bible is Catcher in the Rye. Um, because it's about a book. It's about a guy that wants to protect people, protect children and, and things like that. I personally want nothing but happiness and joy in the world. I know that's impossible to, to have, but I can do my part to try to make sure that that happens. And I just want to, especially young, innocent kids. I just want to, to make sure that they feel protected in the world. You know, they shouldn't have to worry about the, the bad stuff that goes on. So I think Baymax best fits my character. That's just my opinion. My parent, my family thinks Sebastian does. I just want to uh, protect people. So that's, that's what I'm here for. Um, I did see Catherine Shortridge. Thank you so much for being here. And um, I saw somebody else coming. Nathan, Nathan Rita. How are you, buddy? And uh, the Sure Shannon Show. Thank you so much for coming by, guys. I appreciate it. So Baymax is my answer. All right. Number seven. Who is your favorite Disney princess? Um, well, it's Rapunzel. There's no there's no getting around it. There is uh, Rapunzel is my by far my favorite Disney princess. Merida would probably be a close second. 
or not a, a not so close second, but uh, Rapunzel, easily my favorite princess. I think, no, not that again. <laughs> so, um, you know, we named our son Alexander, Defender of the People. Nice, Miguel. I did not even put that together. That's that is uh, awesome. Uh, Bell, Bell was third on my list. Disney Junkie Ashley, Bell's a good one as well. I wouldn't be a sassy Baymax. <laughs> hey, Disney Mikey, how are you, buddy? Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Yes, Rapunzel, Bell. There, there's a lot of good ones. Ariel and Snow White. I know if um, if uh, Dougie was still here, he'd pick Ariel by far. I mean, he, he. I don't know if you guys know, Dougie got a tattoo of Ariel. That's really cool looking. Um, as my daughter's yes, Punzi. Yes, yep. Steve's breaking my heart. I thought Meg and I were a favorite. Oh well, I mean, we, okay. You guys are my favorite real life princesses. Disney princess is uh, is Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Bell Mulan. Oh, Mulan is Mulan's a good one, but Mulan is not high on my liked list of movies. We'll get to that. That's a question coming up in here. MKC Madera, thank you so much. I appreciate you uh, stopping by uh, and saying hi. Thank you very much. Sally could be a princess in your mind, Meg, if you want her to be. So not on my list, but that's good. Thank you, Cargo. I, I tried. I tried to get that in there. All right, guys. Number eight. Which Disney movie or scene never fails to make you cry? I don't uh, I don't cry a lot. I don't think I cry a lot anyways, let's put it that way. But there was there are some Disney movies that make you feel emotion. And one of them, which is not the one I picked yet, but one of them is obviously at the beginning of Up when you see Carl and Ellie and um, I just did the princess tag and everyone was saying I was like Sally. Nice. Maybe that I could, I could totally see that. Um, so yeah, up at the beginning scene when Carl and Ellie, you see them go from children to, to elderly couple to where Ellie passes. Um, that was it, right off the bat just hit me really good, but easily, is it okay? Or it is okay, Steve's world. I can cry for you. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Janine. Um, yeah, Disney, believe it or not, Disney movies make me tear up more than uh, any other movies do. And I don't know why, And but they do. So the, yeah, hashtag spoilers, up's been out for 10 years. If you haven't seen it, sorry. <laughs> so, um and I did stay away from Star Wars and Marvel and all my questions, so I did not include those. I only went with the the classic Disney, the uh, the Disney animated universe. So I can, I stayed away from the uh, Star Wars and Marvel because otherwise, a lot of those would have made my list. For me, though, it's in Toy Story three towards the end when the uh, you know Lotso betrays the toys as they're going through the the in the trash compactor and the fire coming up. And they're struggling trying to get out. They get in and they just, they can't figure out how to get out. With no last hope whatsoever, they all band to join hands to face what's inevitably coming their way. Um, and it was just so sad. I mean, like really, really sad. And then, of course, the aliens and the claw come out and save them. But when you get them to an end of what would could probably be the greatest trilogy Disney has, and they get to that scene and you think this could be how it ends, you know, it it's, it is, it, I don't know. It was really emotional. And that to me is my favorite emotional scene from Disney so far. And I saw that um, part of Rose's world did put big hero six and the Fox and the Hound. Big hero six is another one. When, when B, uh, BB eight or BB eight, I saw, sorry. When Baymax comes out and says, um, after Tadashi has, has, has been killed, sorry, another spoiler, it's been out for a while, um, that, uh, you know, that, that when he says Tadashi lives in you or in here and he's touching the heart, that just, that's another emotional movie or moment too. But I didn't want to put Big Hero 6 for all my answers. So I went with, uh, I went with uh, Toy Story 3 on this one. Hey, Brandy and Dave, how are you guys? Thank you so much for being here. Michelle Phillips, thanks so much for being here. If I missed anybody else. All right, let's get out of the emotional, sad stuff. Number nine, what is your favorite Disney movie? I have so many favorite Disney movies, and they change based on what day it is. Um, but 
always my top five, always at the top of my list are Lion King, Hunchback of Notre Dame, Princess and the Frog, and Tangled. My favorite movie, though, is probably Big Hero 6. I just think it's, uh, hey, Steve's, oh, my doggy. He's, yeah, he's laying beside me. Um, Big Hero 6 is just an incredible movie. I just, I love that movie, and it's, it'll make another part of my list here down the minute, but um, Big Hero 6 is just great. If you guys have not seen Big Hero 6, which is technically Marvel, and you said I'm not doing any Marvel, but it's, it's an animated Disney movie. A lot of people don't know it's Marvel, so, um, but Big Hero 6 is probably my favorite movie right now. What Disney movie is most overrated? Um, everybody plug your ears because you're going to be mad, I'm sure. Hey, Stacy, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. I am going to make Meg cry right now. But I think one of the most overrated Disney movies is Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm sorry. I do not like that movie. I think it's just because I don't like Tim Burton. Um, we're talking about overrated movies, Meg. <laughs> I don't like Tim Burton. Uh, just I think he ruined Dumbo, which it, it was a decent, it was a decent adult movie if you didn't know it was Disney. But I know, I'm sorry, guys. But you're either a Tim Burton fan or you're not. I'm not. So I think one of the the biggest overrated movies is Nightmare Before Christmas. The other one is Mulan, and I'm sorry. Mulan's a good movie. It's got a good message. Great music it's just it's like one of my least favorite disney movies of all time and i don't know i'm sorry let's just move on past that one uh i think i just lost a bunch of people because i said that so let's move on to the next one which is which disney movie is the most underrated so yeah i know i'm sorry i know i know i'm still bitter because it beat or yeah what well, did it beat uh who did it beat the other night in D's D and Miguel's stream. Mulan was up against somebody. And I, I mentioned it there too that it was one of my least favorite. I think it's Pocahontas. And Mulan beat Pocahontas, I think. And I just yeah. Sorry. I'm not a I'm not a Tim Burton fan, guys. I apologize. But let's move on to happier stuff. What move what Disney movie is the most underrated? And I think number one, Big Hero Six is one of the most underrated Disney movies. And I think it's I just don't think a lot of people I mean they know about it, but I don't think a lot of people have seen it. But I think Big Hero 6, I also think that um, A Great Mouse Detective is really underrated, a goofy movie. But my number one pick for most underrated movie is Treasure Planet. Treasure Planet was done back in the day when it was one of, it, it's a very, it has very emotional ties to it. It has a uh, father-son feel to it. And a lot of people haven't even seen it. And it's one of the, mo it's, it's an emotional movie before these recent emotional movies became emotional. So yes. And the great mouse detective is one of my favorites. It, it actually made my top 10 list when I did a, a stream not too long ago. So uh, Disney Earth says Ratatouille. I, I agree, except I don't think Ratatouille is necessarily that underrated for me. I love it. I just, I think it's promoted well, but it is, it is a very good movie. And if it doesn't, it probably doesn't get the attention it deserves. So yes, great mouse detective is incredible. Treasure planet. Is that the one with Tim Curry and Kermit? No, that's true. nice vault. <laughs> I was going to answer that until I saw it was you. <laughs> so, okay. So we are going with uh, Treasure Planet there. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. That D and Miguel will be doing that matchup. It'll be on a matchup coming up in the near future. But it has a it has an incredible song in it too from Johnny Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls. Uh, go watch it. Okay, number twelve. What is your favorite Disney song? So. Um, again, it could vary based on what day it is. Uh, I said Peach Dragon. Peach Dragon is incredible too. The the original or the one with Robert Redford? Which one? Which one are you talking about there, Benny? Um, Mulan is a girl with fighting four. Nice. Um, so two of my favorite songs are from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which I made no secret that I think is 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 great. Uh, and that's Hellfire and Bells of Notre Dame. Go the Distance from Hercules and I See the Light from Tangled are some of my favorites. But my favorite Disney song, um, I would be lying to myself if I didn't say this, and that's uh, Circle of Life from The Lion King. I just think it's it's got to be the number one song for me. And, uh, yeah, Circle of Life or Go the Distance both made my, both made my list. But I'm going to go 
with Circle Life. Hey, Charlton Carter, that would take this would take all night for me to figure out. It it took me a long time to try to figure out. That's why I wrote down several possibilities, and then I had to pick one of the four or five that I wrote down. So, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Nice. Okay, next up, we are going with what is your least favorite Disney song? Um. Sorry, Meg. <laughs> this is Halloween from the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's one of my least favorite Disney songs. And then I'm going to upset a lot of other people right here with this one. Hey, my Westies TV. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Stormy Stitch, thank you so much. Yes, I have every Disney Infinity uh, character and all the little, all the little clear uh, set pieces and everything. So... Why do these answers start with why Meg? <laughs> well, Meg, you know. So this is Halloween from Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm, I'm apologizing ahead of time so that we can still remain friends. That's why I'm doing Steve's last stream because when Meg gets a hold of him, it's over. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Walt. <laughs> so now I'm gonna mess. I'm I'm gonna make Stacy mad too. I think because the other one that I don't like, and I am a huge fan of Moana is you're welcome because I absolutely despise The Rock. Cannot stand him. I'm a huge wrestling fan, too. Um, I cannot stand oh, the Ugly Bug Baldy. That is a great a great choice for that. So, yeah, Stacy, I knew you'd be upset about that. I can't stand The Rock. I can't stand his acting. I can't stand his talking. I can't stand his singing. So you're welcome is the uh, is the one that I don't like the most. But I will tell you this. I have heard, yes, stream canceled. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is Halloween is way better than you're welcome. I'll give you that. That's why I said the least favorites, you're welcome. Nightmare Before Chris, or the This is Halloween is a step, just a step up from that, just a little bit. So um, I will say this. I have heard many um, covers of your welcome that I absolutely love. And I can't stand the rocks version. I just don't like it. I will protect you, Steve. Meg can't hit me. She loves me too much. <laughs> Cargo's gonna be my Baymax. She's gonna be my protector. Okay. Next up, guys. I'm sorry, I lost all train of thought because I knew those questions would make some people upset. Number 14. Who is your most memorable Disney villain? So <clears throat> I took this one a few different ways. I didn't know if I should take. Yes, stream is over. I have really made some people mad. I thought this would be more fun live, too, just so I could see everybody's reactions. I've seen a few people do these, and it just wasn't as fun that you can't yell at them while they're talking and, and choosing their picks. So um, I guess Steve wouldn't won't be waiting in line to see the Jungle Cruise movie. That is correct, Jim. I, I was so excited they were doing it, and then they brought in him, and it just, nope. Thought he killed and ruined Jumanji. Uh, Scott, they're all bad. He's not in a good movie. The only good movie I liked was uh, the one with Sean William Scott. It was only because of Sean William Scott in it. So I think it was called The Rundown. Are you saying you don't like Hercules? I love Hercules, Meg. Redemption. Hercules all the way. Um, oops, I got when you're ready to take Steve down. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, Jafar, Cruella, Miguel. No, Elsa is not a villain. That stream is going to come up soon, buddy. We're going to we're going to debate. Miguel and I are going to deb debate why Elsa is not a villain, and he says she is a villain. So we'll figure that one out. Steve has to pick the doctor. Bad Steve, I know, Catherine. I'm sorry, Jafar. Wicked stepmother is a good one. Scar, Madam Mim. That I love, Madam Mim, Charlton Carter. Uh, Jafar, watch out, Steve. It's getting dangerous. I know these things. Will, that's why I think it's more fun doing it live. So, okay, depending on how you talk about memorable villains, Scar is probably the most memorable villain for what he did. I mean, he killed James Earl Jones, Darth Vader, Mufasa. I mean, he, he, that moment is probably the most memorable thing any villain did, in my opinion. But if I go with my favorite, it's got to be Dr. Facilier, like Meg said. I think he's just an incredible villain. I'm, I'm considering dressing up for him during the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party in August. We shall see. Hopefully, that if I can get a good costume together to make it look real, um, that might be my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween costume. 
um, but we will see. But Dr. Facilio, though, still did the same kind of things that that Scar did, except he did it in a different way. He was, you know, he, he dealt with dark powers and the witchcraft and voodoo, whatever it is. He also, a lot of people forget, he smashed Ray, the, the little bug. He stepped on Ray and killed him. And he tried to do it to a lot of different people. Yes, Hades is a great villain and probably the worst of all villains. He's the uh, he's the head honcho. Um, but Dr. Facilier is going to be the one I pick, even if it's not the most memorable, depending on how you define memorable, it is, he's got to be mine. Male lions attack each other all the time and try to take over the pride, just saying, doesn't make Scar the meanest villain. I agree, Meg. Um, Shadow Man is definitely one of the scarier ones. You're right about that. Ray's not dead. She's in Star Wars <laughs> episode nine. <laughs> Good point, Walt. Good point. <laughs> okay. Moving on. We got four more questions, and then we'll wrap up with a little Q&A session. So number 15, which classic Disney ride is your favorite? Which classic Disney ride? Uh, Steve, did you miss my comment about The Rock? Uh, apparently, Stacy. I'm sorry. If you want to repost it, I'll look at it again. I, I, it'd take me forever to try to find it. Uh, I don't watch wrestling, but everyone's heard of the rock saying, <laughs> yes, everybody has heard of the rock saying Meg's like, I went to Africa, Africa scar is average. <laughs> yes, that's true. Miguel. Great movie ride is a classic. I didn't, uh, I didn't do extinct rides. That's a good point. Um, I live close enough to the rocks family and know his cousin's wife that I can get the rock to take Steve down. Now to be clear, I like The Rock's family. Roman Reigns is his nephew, I think. I love Roman Reigns. I love some of the other ones. Um, I just don't like The Rock. I can't stand him. So, okay. So, I wrote down the only classic rides that I could think of that I would still go on today. My favorite ones. I know <laughs> this is not probably popular, but Small World is actually a pretty decent ride. I like seeing all the different countries and the different sayings, the languages and things. Um, and the Haunted Mansion, of course. I wrote down as my favorite being the Pirates of the Caribbean. That's probably my favorite classic ride. Even though they've changed it a little bit, it's still probably my favorite one. Hey, MGM Traveling, how are you? Thank you so much. Carousel of Progress, I fell asleep on. I'm sorry. We're going to try to change my opinion of that in August when we go. I got Carousel of Progress and I got uh, People Mover. Both I got to fix, but we're going to try it. Oh, Ail <laughs> I met you earlier. And I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name. It's Ailets, Mike, and Cece. I see Mike and Cece. So we're going to call you Mike and Cece. Thank you guys so much for being in here. I met them earlier. Uh, my Disney Park memories. I think I said hi to you already. Uh, yeah, everybody there. Okay. So I'm going to go with Pirates of the Caribbean as my favorite classic ride now which modern disney ride is your favorite um i love everest i love slinky dog but there is no secret for to anybody if that if anybody's seen my streams that flight of passage is by far the best ride disney has the best ride my favorite ride i, I mean it's unlike any other experience i'm going to try to trick cargo into riding it with me one day even though she says no um, Fly of Passage is just super incredible. And if not, if, if for nothing else, just getting up to the ride itself is an experience altogether. Now it is a climb uphill, but you're climbing up to the mountains, the floating mountains of Pandora with the waterfalls and everything else. And then when you go through, <laughs> when you go through the queue line, you're going through, you know, you get to see an avatar inside the, the tubes in the water. It, it's just incredible incredible queue line and when you get up to the very top and you look out over pandora and you can see all the decorations and everything just that alone is better than most rides disney has let alone the ride experience itself is the best so hey c pro fishing how you doing buddy met you earlier today thank you so much for stopping by um so yeah tower of terror is a frightening ride um but it's fun it just puts your stomach in your throat um, I go to Disney five times a year and I still haven't been on flight. Of Whoa, Disney Mikey. So you need to do that. Flight of passage. I, I will tell you this. My parents got motion sick on it. 
it's a simulator ride. You, you're basically riding on the back of a Banshee. So if you can imagine putting a camera on the back of a Banshee's head, watching it fly through stuff, that's what you're going to experience. But you're going to experience it in 4D like you're there. I mean, it's going to, it's an incredible ride. Seems like you're getting cargo mad. Cargo, we got to ride. Come on, we got to ride Flight of Passage. Steve has a better chance of getting into the Flight of Passage or the Skyliner. Yes, there's a good one, Cargo. Which would you rather ride, Flight of Passage or Skyliner? Uh, seven days left. I'm going to four parks. Wow, Cat, nice. What should my must do in each park be? For me, Flight of Passage is, is a hands down one. But if you're trying to, to speed up the process, if you don't have a fast pass for Flight of Passage, you're going to want to skip that one because it'll it'll take some time out of your day to stand in line. If you only got one day to go, uh, if you're doing all four parks in one day, Flight of Passage will take a lot of time. Try to do Everest if you like thrill rides, in my opinion. Um, on Hollywood Studios, Slinky Dog for me is a must. It, it's an incredible one. By Part of Rose's World, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you being here. Um, Part of, Ro Part of Rose's World goes on after me at 9 o'clock, guys, so we'll all go say hi to her later. Um, hey, Christy's Corner, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Get catch us tonight. I have a holiday off work tomorrow. Oh, wow. Uh, that's right, D. It is late for you. Thank you so much for being up. I appreciate it. Um, I'd rather do neither. <laughs> if I have to choose one, then fly to pass because there's nothing in existence that will ever warrant me going on that death trap of a wire. Nice cargo. But think of the bright side of Flight of Passage. Again, you get to see all the scenery and the ambience of, of, uh, of Pandora. So that's awesome. Um, okay. So, and then, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Magic Kingdom. I would say you should ride either the Mine Train. Uh, if you want classic rides, Peter Pan's Flight. If you're looking to thrill rides, it's got to be Mine Train. Or Pirates of the Caribbean is a, is a great ride for a, if you've, if you've, You've got to do something that day. And then, of course, over at Epcot, I say Soren. A lot of people say Test Track. For me, so there is nothing that beats Soren and Epcot. So those are my picks. Um, did that once. We made sure to do at least one ride, one show, and eat one thing in each park, make an official visit. to seven. Wow, Jim, you did all that in seven and a half hours. That's crazy. Randy and Dave say margaritas. Somebody mentioned margaritas. Um, what else we got? Okay. So number 17, what is your favorite music score? I'm assuming it's a Disney music score. So I took this two ways. I wrote down some, some Disney movie scores that I thought were great. And those include, for those that haven't seen it, Tarzan, uh, The Lion King, The Princess and the Frog, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be, again, some of these can be interpreted either way. Um, I went with the music of illuminations which is getting ready to end on september 30th it's my favorite nighttime show at disney world and i think the music is incredible i have it on cd and i'm on the digital all the digital stuff now right for christmas haha ha, steve it's true <laughs> yes um so my internet connection isn't working sorry i got to go by see you, disney mikey thanks for stopping by i appreciate it um it, i for me, it's Illuminations. I think the music is great. It, it's very well done, and it matches the the lasers and the fireworks and the water and everything so great. So mine has to be um, Illuminations there. Stop my this one. Let's get the demo. Nice. Okay, so last question on the list is, what is your favorite live-action Disney movie? I can tell you this. This will change in a few months. Um, I, I do not see, I, I stayed away from Star Wars and I stayed away from Marvel. I do not see, um, Lion King disappointing. I think Lion King will be my favorite live action movie, but we will, we will see when we get there. But the ones I wrote down, I wrote down the jungle book with John Favreau doing, which he is doing the, um, uh, Lion King as well. I think it, he's an incredible director an incredible actor. I think he's going to do a really good job. I wrote down Pete's Dragon, and I'm talking about the original Pete's Dragon. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean, the first one. Steve, yes, the Curse of the Black Pearl. Is, the, all the Pirates movies are great. I honestly didn't even think about that being one. And I agree, Jim. Pete's Dragon is not truly a live action. It's a live action with an animated dragon. It's a hybrid, but I put it down anyway. So, <laughs> um, 
Dougie would say Mighty Ducks for sure. Meg says Mighty Ducks and Miracle. But I agree with some of you in the chat. Uh, I put down Beauty and the Beast as my favorite live action for now. I really do think the way they did it, they kept it a lot of it the same. They added some new stuff to it. And I just thought I thought it was masterfully done. I, I thought the acting choices were were superb. The music, the the classic music with the new music is great. The scenery and the way they do everything. I just I thought it was was again incredible. And I, I just really loved it. So I picked uh, Beauty and the Beast as well. So yes, but definitely the Lion King when it comes out, as Meg says. Um we are going to have to, we will definitely probably change my mind there. Hey, Tammy Smith, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. So Cargo Poppins for the win. All right, guys. So that is my 18 question Disney tag. Again, they are hard. I'll run through the list one more time. Not my answers, just the questions. If you want to do them, I will also put them in the description below. I'll type them up for you and put them in there. They're not in there now, but um, they will be eventually. And yes, uh, Chef Famous says, I love Aladdin. I can't wait to see the new Aladdin movie. It comes out. Uh, what is it? The 27th or something like that? 2017th, maybe? I can't remember. Yes, I am sure it's not Dumbo, Miguel. <laughs> very, very sure. So, oh, I'm going to ad lib, Walt. I'm not going to cut out early. So, um, so the questions real quick were again, which Disney movie or scene would you like to be in? What is your best moment in a Disney park? What non-Disney song reminds you of Disney? When was your first Disney trip? Which Disney character would be your best friend? Which Disney sidekick best fits your personality? Who is your favorite Disney princess? Which Disney movie or scene never fails to make you cry? What is your favorite Disney movie? What Disney movie is most overrated? Sorry, Meg. What Disney movie is most underrated? What is your favorite Disney song? What is your least favorite Disney song? Who is your most memorable Disney villain? Which classic Disney ride is your favorite? Which modern Disney ride is your favorite? What is your favorite musical score? And what is your favorite live action Disney movie? So I will get all those typed up and put in the description below so you guys can copy them. Um, Steve's World, your best moment. That is true, Cargo. My best Disney World moment has not happened yet. That will happen on August 21st of this year for sure. So um that this tag was great thanks for sharing your answers thanks janine um i encourage you all to do it oh yeah uh, oh harold's harold's random videos thank you so much for stopping by i appreciate it thank you for being here i am going to tag three people which some people already know <laughs> so um i had already had it but then everybody keeps talking about wanting to do this tag and i actually had to tell somebody earlier so i am tagging specifically zippity doodad and i am tagging the shep family and I am tagging um, Mickey's Magic and Cargo. So if you guys have already done it, I apologize. I did not see your answers. So I went ahead and chose it for you guys to do. And of course it is, you know, if anybody wants to do this, by all means, do your own video. You don't have to be tagged to do this. Um, but those are the ones I would love to see tagged to do this. So Zippity Doodad, The Chef Family, Cargo, and Mickey's Magic. So, all right, guys. Now, going back to, for those of you that don't know, August. Oh, no, someone tagged me. D, you can do it, too. Um, I'll tag you, too. I, I usually only tag three people. I tagged four. So, yay, August will be here before we know. I know I only have 107 days left, which is crazy, because when I did this originally, we're almost to the halfway point when I when I first booked this. So, ZD squared, yes, zippity doo -dad. Um and, and he's going to do it. Zippity Doodad's actually going to do it with his son, PJ. So they're going to, uh, they're going to do it together, which would be pretty cool to watch. Um, so we have 107 days left. We are organizing a very large group photo for all those people that can be there on Saturday, August the 31st. For I got a list of people that are all going to be there. And if you are going to be there that I'm not aware of, please let me know. We're going to try to organize some kind of group photo in front of the castle if possible. Um, but please, by all means, share out that you're coming and, and we'll get you on the list as well. Hit me up on Instagram or Twitter and we will go from there. So does anybody have any questions at all for me or uh, about anything that's coming up? What we 130 days for Catherine Shortridge. Yes, big group hug, Mouse Talk. Very big group hug. Thank you so much, Janine. Yeah, yeah I, I, 
I cannot even stress the thanks I've gotten the support I've gotten from everybody over the last few, especially uh, first as I started, but especially over the last month when YouTube made up their, their new rules, which I am again, I am in favor of what they, what they've done. I don't agree necessarily with the number, but I am in favor of it, which is not a common shared uh, opinion from people that are under a thousand, but the, the amount of support I've gotten over the last month, we, we've gained about 300 subscribers in the last five, six weeks, somewhere in there. So I, I couldn't be happier for uh, to have all of you guys with your support. We're trying to get to a thousand so we can try to stream Galaxy's Edge. Now, again, we may not even be able to do that, depending on how many people are going to try to do it. But I am doing everything in my power that is humanly possible that Disney will allow or not catch me doing that will get me to Galaxy's Edge on opening day and will get me to be able to stream the service for everybody. So that's my goal. It's been my goal since the beginning, ever since they announced the opening. So that is what we're, that's what we're trying to do. Yes, D, that stresses me out too. Yeah. So Christy, Christy is another one that uh, was affected by the, mo you cannot, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you can't mobile live stream if you're under a thousand now due to some pretty despicable acts from some people um, that stream some things they shouldn't have. There had to be a rule in place, and now now that there is, I, I agree with the rule. I just don't like the number. So, uh, thank you, Catherine. I appreciate that. So, anybody have just just a cardboard cutout of my face to throw in the? You know what, Meg? I, I've done that. I've not done that extreme in Disney World or anything. I have included people into into uh, to photos before just for fun. So we'll see if we can figure something out. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you for Sana Bread Service? Steve? Okay. Good question, D. I am, I am a very picky eater, like Walt is from Mouse Talk. Extremely picky eater. I don't eat cheese on my hamburgers. I don't. I put ketchup on my burgers, and that's it. I, I, I'm just very, very, very picky. I love cheese, love hamburgers. Can't stand them together. So I'm nervous about the bread service. But in my exploration of in August that I'm going to go through the people mover and so forth, I'm going to try the bread service. It comes with like 10 little dips. Donna swears by it. I know Dan swears by it. So we're gonna, we're going to, we're gonna have some fun with that. I'm 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 gonna give it a try. I love bread, so I'm gonna try at least try the bread. We'll see how the rest of it goes. Brandy and Dave, same ballpark. We'll get there. Absolutely. We just everybody all for all those that are not there yet, all I can stress is keep putting out content, keep being positive about that content. You know, you can either be upset about what they did and and stress out about it and let it affect you or you can just be happy and continue to do things the right way and see if you can find different ways to bolster your 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 fan base if you want to call it that so um thanks disney mikey i appreciate it buddy uh here i'm not feeling too well but the stream is helping so oh thanks stacy appreciate that Tried to go live for illuminations when I was there. I was so disappointed. Something else we're going to try to do. I'm trying to organize an illumination stream since it's going to be close to the last stream to where I can get enough people around at each country to stream illumination so we can do a multi um, streaming service so that people can see it from multiple different angles. So we'll be putting that out as well. Yes, Chef Family, August is going to be amazing. Bring me, bring me with you into the photo. Yes, I will try, Meg. Um, oops, I, my thing jumped. Sorry, guys. Uh, you are not human. Cheese must be on beef. <laughs> no, sorry. Cheese on burgers don't go for don't go for me. Sorry, guys. Uh, we need to film how Steve and I. Yes, the great point, Walt. We need Donna. Donna's. We're putting a lot of faith in Donna for August, and we need to film our reaction to the bread service because I know there's things in there that I don't like. Those little dips. I know for a fact I don't like them. Ben, my twin brother, would get along with you. <laughs> Pepper Tree Villa says nice. Um, uh, okay. Oh, sorry, Stacy. 43 likes back get 44 likes guys. Thanks so much. We still have 35 people here watching me talk. I, I, I appreciate you all. It just baffles me, uh, how much support I get. I love you guys so much. That was my day in November. So I, yes, Christy's going in November. So she's going to try the same thing. Um, please before they go. Oh, thanks, Janine. I appreciate that. I can be Jim will be there as well on August 31st. Jim, that is awesome. I am adding you to the list. Again, guys, anybody else that's going to be there, please let us know. Um, I mean, this is a this started out with like three of us. And then 
as we've met people and as we continue to grow in this community and, and, and interact with positive people and happy people, we want to, um, it, it's just a growing community. And I, we're going to have a once in a lifetime photo opportunity that we're going to try to all be at. So I can't wait to meet all, every one of you guys. What is the bread service, Shep? So Shep at Sanaa in, in Animal Kingdom Lodge, one of the houses, I'm not sure which one, there's this thing called a bread service and it has multiple different breads and it's got these little, it's got little round containers of different seasonings or dips that you dip your bread into. And everybody swears how great it is. So we're going to try it. I remember saying a few months ago, I'll never get to 100 now. Yeah, exactly, D. You just gotta, you guys gotta stay positive about what you're doing. Keep putting out great content that people enjoy. Um, you know, and you know, you you should just just be be happy and be yourselves, and then people will gravitate to you. Should I finish my break tonight or another night, Christy? That's up to you. Um, I do know there are two more lives tonight after me. Part of Rose's World is on at nine, and um, Disney World Adventures Chris is on at ten o'clock. So. Um, you know, it, it would be up to you whether or not you wanted to try to do it, but, uh, I do know there are two more lives tonight. Yes. Yeah, do that. I love this community as well. Oh man. Everything's jumping so fast. Um, yes, I, my Yoda, my master Yoda right here. If you guys missed that on Saturday night, Walt and I talked fencing star Wars style, which is uh lightsaber battles. Mm, uh, Yoda moves. He does some stuff. Go over there and watch that video uh, over at Mouse Talk on Sports Night at eight o'clock last Saturday. Yeah, I can't wait for this picture either. I don't get to go till next year, so I'm living through. <laughs> no problem, you, me, and Benny. That's great. Just love how many people. We lovely people, though. Wow, you guys are going fast. I'm going Halloween day. Nice Disney, Mikey. Um, that's one other thing I'm going to try to do. This massive YouTube community reunion is going to be awesome. You're lucky, she's right. Yes. So Janine, we start uh, like I said. I think myself and Dan and Walt, we, we started with like three of us or four of us. And um, and I'm meeting some other people on the, that, that can't be there the later weekend. But I, I, I overlap my week that I'm going because I wanted to meet as many people as possible. Then as we started to get more and more people to grow, I extended my vacation. And then, of course, they announced that Star Wars Galaxy's Edge was going to open up. So everything fell into our laps, and it's, it's turning out to be a pretty epic thing. Steve, did you and Walt talk about the Kentucky Derby at all last Saturday night? Nope. We talked about it was Star Wars May the Fourth Be With You Day. We talked about fencing, lightsaber battles. So make it, Melissa makes up for me all. <laughs> so, um, guys, one other thing that we'll mention real quick: I did get my tickets for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So anybody that's going to be down there, I think Zippity Doodad said he. Uh, no, you know what? I can't remember if Zippy was going to be there. Um, I know somebody told me they were going to be there. They thought on the same day. I think it's the twenty. August 27th. It's a Tuesday. Uh, if you're going to be there, let me know. We'll, we'll meet up somewhere. So anybody else got any other questions before we leave? we got a couple more minutes. Maybe we can organize a similar pick of the community at D23 this year. I did join the D23 club last week as well, which um, I am really wanting to get to that D23 expo. It won't happen this year by any means because I think it's right around the same time as uh, as uh, when I'm going to be in Florida. Oh, good. You are going to be there 27th. Awesome. Zip. Um, so anybody else that is going to be there, let me know. And, uh, maybe we can organize something for that as well. It might be a good sports topic for you guys. I was blown away, but I get it. What was the sports topic? Uh, Stacy, I missed it. Sorry. Did you get me a ticket? Jelly? I'm sorry. They only sent me one and they linked it to my magic band already. So, but anyways, guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. If one of my mods could put, Part of Rose's world in the chat. Um, oh, Jim, I'm so jealous. Jim, I actually saw your video that uh, showed the pin set that you get, which is one of the reasons why I, I decided to go ahead and do it. Uh, those pins are amazing, which everybody knows. If, if you know, I if you see me, I collect pins. Uh, really incredible. Um, so it, it, it's I can't believe it. I'm going to do topics. They, what they do is they celebrate different milestones of Disney this year in pin form. So it, it's really cool. There are some mystery pin releases while you're at Disney World. Can you pick? I sure can, Christy. If uh, if I'm around in there at that time and they release them, I'll be definitely be on the lookout for them. So, guys, if somebody could, there you go. Mouse Talk just put Rose's channel in there, part of Rose's world. If everybody could please go over to Rosa when I say to and let them know I let her know I sent you and just show her some love and say hi. Um, I want to thank the Live Place, Dean D Dreamers Empire, www.thelivepleace.com for hosting the show. Dean is absolutely incredible. Host up to at least 38 shows right now. 
Um, puts in a lot of work for us, and I greatly appreciate him. Thank my partner channel, Mouse Talk. They go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 o'clock. Also this weekend at uh, Saturdays for Sports Night at 8 o'clock with myself on their channel. Part of Rose's World's on after. Oh, my other partner channel. I got a brand new partner channel, Rob Fuzz, guys. Please go check out Rob. Rob, the only time I know Rob goes live is 4.30 on Fridays with Frankie Friday. Other than that, it's pop-ups. I have no idea when he's going live. Um, but check out uh, Part of Rose's World at 9 and Chris from Disney World Adventures at 10 o'clock tonight. Guys, again, I love you all so much. And that's something else we'll talk about next uh, coming up here too, Mikey. Food and Wine Festival will we'll open while I'm down there as well. So I love you guys so much. Thank you all so much for the support. Greatly appreciate you. Please go head over to... to um roses world say hi let her know we sent you and guys thank you so much everybody have a fantastic night and we will see you next time